Hey everybody, so I am at a friend's house today and unfortunately the other weekend when uh, uh, my friend was doing a little bit of brake fluid uh, bleeding on his uh, car here, uh, managed to get a little bit of air in the line. So this week, uh, you know, we are reflushing this car and I am going to hook up my laptop and do a DSC bleed with ISTA. And that's really what I wanted to show you guys today is just that process with the ISTA software because quite frankly, if you've got it and you're reading through it, it's not all that intuitive um, and even the instructions themselves are not that clear which will cause you to like have to restart the procedure all over again you know a couple times until you figure out what ISTA is really trying to get you to do. So um, at this point we have gone ahead and we have reflushed all four corners manually with the pressure bleeder and using the brake pedal. So now it's time to hook up the laptop and do the DSC bleed. Okay so here we are looking at the uh, laptop now and you can see I've got ISTA open and so we will go over to this operations and then read out vehicle data and uh, complete identification. And uh, I already have the laptop hooked up to the car via OBD2 to Ethernet cable, and obviously that Ethernet cable connected to the laptop. So you can see now we are scanning the car and it's uh, bringing up all its properties and establishing communication with all of the ECUs. Okay, so the scan is complete and we can just clear this little error message that comes up. And now we'll go to this vehicle management tab and then to service functions and then you can see we have this menu over here that's still kind of loading but when it does then we'll go to the uh, chassis and suspension then we'll go to traction control system and then brake bleeding uh, routine so over here you can see two, two things came up uh, ABL and FUB um, one of them is just a description of it and the other one is the actual procedure itself. So we'll go to this uh, ABL and we will hit display. Alright, so now it brought us to the procedure itself. We'll hit continue. It's saying now on the left side that there are no fault codes in the DSC unit so we can go ahead and continue with this. And then it tells us the first instructions, and that is to flush the uh, brake system. Um, and, uh, you know, we've already done this. Right? It says, you know, flush the brake system uh, with a bleeder bottle at all four corners until there's no foam or bubbles coming out, which we have just done. And uh, the interesting thing that BMW recommends is, is you know, typically you do your, your rear left, or sorry, your rear right, your rear left, your front right, and your front left. However, if you look at this recommended sequence from BMW, they actually recommend starting with your uh, rear left, then front left, then front right, and then rear right. So going in a clockwise um, pattern from the driver's side rear. Uh, basically what they're saying is it doesn't really matter what the order is. That's just kind of what they recommend. And then this is actually kind of cr crucial when you're really trying to get all the air out. Um, and you've got a pressure bleeder hooked up, still, you still want to cycle by pressing that brake, uh, that brake pedal. So now it says, have you flushed the system? We'll say yes, because we have. All right, and now it's saying it's going to get to some of the interesting parts. Um, so the routine is saying what it's going to do is there's the first pump flush cycle, then it's the brake bleeding uh, procedure for the rear axle circuit of the DSC system and then it'll do the brake bleeding procedure for the front axle. So we'll continue. Alright, so here is the first step where things get interesting and uh, what it's telling you it's going to do is you know no don't pressurize the reservoir and it's just going to cycle the DSC valves. It'll make a terrible noise. You'll think you're breaking things, but this is completely normal. And what it's doing is it's just kind of internally freeing up the bubbles inside. And uh, um, no fluid is supposed to come out at this time. So I'm going to hit continue. You can hear it making a terrible noise as it's cycling. And it's also telling me, cycle that brake pedal, you know, a couple times while it's doing this. And it'll do this for 20 seconds. All right. So now it has completed. And we will continue to the next screen. All right. Now we're going to bleed the rear brake uh, circuit. And since we've already flushed all four corners, 
we, we won't be doing this DSC activation on all four corners. You're only going to be doing it on the uh, driver's side rear and the driver's side front. Um, so we're going to start with the rear because that's what the procedure says and uh, what we'll do is uh, right now we'll go ahead and put our brake bleeder bottle on, uh, you know, make sure our reservoir is full, open that uh, bleed nipple to get the fluid started and then we'll proceed to the uh, activation of the DSC valves and actually, you know, have the DSC, DSC valves um, oscillating as well as using the pedal to push fluid through. Now, one thing that this message doesn't tell you is that in order to uh, successfully move on to the next step, you actually have to be pressing on the brake pedal. So you need to press on the brake pedal before you hit this continue button. Otherwise, it'll say, hey, there was an error, the brake pedal wasn't pressed. Uh, start this procedure all the way from the beginning. So if you are not pressing the brake pedal down and you hit continue, uh, you're going to get this error message on the left saying, hey, guess what? You weren't pressing on the brake pedal, so therefore I'm not going to continue. And it'll make you restart the procedure all the way from the beginning. So I don't know why ISTA doesn't tell you this in the step before, but, you know, as I mentioned before, before you hit continue to go to the activation of DSC and, you know, start bleeding that corner, you need to be pressing on the brake pedal. All right, so our bleed screw is open, our fluid is coming out. I am now pressing on the brake pedal and hitting continue. And you can hear it making a terrible noise, but, and I'm cycling the brake pedal, and we are, you know, flushing fluid out of that uh, rear left uh, bleed nipple. Okay, so we have now successfully DSC bled the uh, rear, and uh, thankfully my friend reported not seeing any bubbles, so that's always a good sign. And now we're going to continue. All right, now it's saying we're going to do the front one, so make sure your, uh, your reservoir is full, your uh, pressure bleeder is on, and then we will start the same on the front. And just like before, even though ISTA doesn't say it, press down on the brake pedal before we hit continue. All right, brake pedal's pressed and continue. So now we are hearing that awful noise again, and I am cycling this brake pedal while uh, the front circuit's bleeding. All right, so now we have DSC bled the front, and we'll continue. Okay, now we're on to the second pump flushing cycle. And um, just like the first one, this is going to be done with the bleeder unit shut off, and we're not actually pushing any fluid out of the corners, uh, so don't open the bleed nipples. Um, like the last two activations, before you hit continue, press down on the brake pedal. So I'm going to press on the brake pedal, and then hit continue. And then we'll go ahead and you know cycle that brake pedal a couple times, you know, every uh, three to six seconds while this uh, is activating. But while we're not flushing any fluid out. All right, and that's finished. So it looks like there's more to the procedure, but really with the DSC activation portion, we are now done. Um, if you look at the text, what it's telling you to do is just go back to all four corners and you know bleed it as you would normally and manually, and just see if any bubbles come out. And if no bubbles come out, then you should be good to go. And after we have manually flushed it, then it'll say, did you do that? And of course we say yes. And then that's the end. So there you have it guys, that is the ISTA DSC bleed for the you know, BMW F2X, F3X, and F8X vehicles. Uh, really the most difficult thing there is just you know, keeping track of all the different things that have to happen for each cycle, whether that's you know, your pressure bleeder on, your pressure bleeder off, bleed screw open, bleed screw you know, closed, um, making sure your reservoir has, has plenty of fluid, and really that instruction that they don't tell you about, which is press on that brake pedal before you hit continue to do the DSC activations. Um, you know, before that and after that, it's really just your standard brake fluid bleed flush, uh, which, you know, there's plenty of material on. But anyhow, I hope you guys found this interesting and, uh, you know, hopefully you never actually need to do this, but uh, if you happen to get some air in your system and you need to, here you go.